Request Central is a very large database. It's an ideal place to start uh, many different types of research. So we're going to begin on SPCC's Library Databases webpage, which is www.spcc.edu slash library dash databases. We'll just scroll down to ProQuest Central. When you're off campus, you'll need to log in by first finding our school and then using your Moodle login and password. You can begin with a basic search or an advanced search. There are more details available to you on the advanced search, so we'll start there. We're going to start with a very broad search of literacy. Now you can refine your search using several of the options below. I'm going to limit our results to full text, which means we'll be able to view and interact with the entire article, not just the abstract or maybe some other details about it. You could select peer reviewed if your instructor has let you know that that's the type of source that you need. You can choose publication date. We'll choose within the last three years for the search. You can search which type of sources you would like to look at. For this, I'm going to choose magazines, scholarly journals, and trade journals. If you'd like, you could select the document type and you could select the language. Click search. As I mentioned, this is a very broad search, so it's returned 47,000 results. That's way too many for us to review at once, so we're going to need to look at further limiting this. I'm going to click back up on Advanced Search, and I'm going to add Education. I'm using the operator AND here, which will actually narrow our search by linking two keywords, Literacy and Education, it will be need to return results that have both words within it. So that brought it down, but still it's not quite enough. I'm gonna edit it a little further by clicking back up on advanced search. You can add a row to your search here and you can select the operator you want. Again, I'll use and because I'm still trying to get my number of results smaller. And I'm going to do graphic novels. Now this is a two-word keyword, so I'm adding parentheses to make sure that I search for both words together. I don't want to just find information about graphic or information about novels. I'm also going to show you how the OR operator works. Sometimes it helps to brainstorm a list of keywords that are synonyms. So a synonym for graphic novels is comic books. So another two-word keyword, so I'm going to use the parentheses again, and then click, click search. You can see we've still got the same filters selected from earlier. So 298 results, that's a manageable number. So I'm just going to scroll down. You'll see over on the left-hand side, you'll still see the same filters from before. If you saw anything else that might help you narrow it down, then you could select it here. So you could look at things like who wrote these articles, what types of documents are here, and you can see how the results break down into each of these categories. So scrolling through the results, this article looks good to me. So you can see below, we've got the full text of the article. And over on the right hand side, there are a few helpful buttons. Um, you could choose the site button and the program will auto create a citation for you um, according to whatever style you choose. This is a great shortcut. You just need to make sure to double check the citation after you copy and paste it into your document. Sometimes it's just a little bit off. You could use the email link if you wanted to send this article to yourself or to an interested friend. And that's our introduction to ProQuest Central. I hope you found it helpful.